Welcome to the class on Artificial Neural Networks and Reinforcement Learning. In this video, I will discuss further variations of SARSA, in particular TD learning methods, temporal difference algorithms. Remember the Bellman equation. The Bellman com equation compares the Q value in state S under action A with the Q value in state S prime under action A prime. And the Bellman equation really expresses a consistency condition between neighboring states. Now imagine that this Q value here is a good approximation of what's happening down there in, in the graph. The idea is that these TD learning algorithms, such as SARSA and others, they have a bootstrap approach. They use this summary of previous information that's represented by Q of S prime A prime to update the Q values in the state further up. That's the first aspect. Now there's a second aspect. Imagine that we really take a certain action in this state, then we move to the next state, then we take another action, we move to the next state, then we walk through the graph in different time steps, t, t plus 1, t plus 2, t plus 3. And uh, what we then really have is that if we compare q values up here and q values down there, then we compare q values at time t with q values at time t plus 1. So neighboring states turn into neighboring time steps, and that's why it's called a temporal difference algorithm, a class of algorithms that exploits the Bellman equation that compares neighboring states is called temporal difference methods. A further remark. So far, I have focused on Q values. Q values represent the state action pair, the value, the total accumulated discounted future reward for a state action pair. Now, we can also have a very similar notion of the total accumulated discounted reward for a state. And now you see just from this, from this little graph here that we need to average over the different uh, policies, of, over the different possibilities of policy the different actions, and that gives us the value of the state up here. And now we can also look at the value of the state down here. And of course, it's calculated in an analogous fashion. And now you can reconstruct the same, same type of Bellman equation, now connecting the V value of the state, S, with the V values at different possible states S prime. And the equation looks very similar. The only difference is that the order of the summation signs has changed because we first average over the policy and then over the branching ratio. Now with this in mind, we can now write down a algorithm that compares the V values and updates these across different time steps, neighboring time steps, neighboring states, and it would look like this. The V value up here, V of S, should be explainable by the reward you get in the next time step and the V value down here. And if the actual reward is larger than this difference, then you should update this, the value V of S so it's a delta V of S, which is positive. And so this is now this online algorithm where you initialize, you start in some state, you take an action, which means you're now, you now here, and then you observe the reward, you observe the next state, and then you do the update step that I just have discussed. Now, what's the difference now? The difference is most easily seen in this backup diagram. Now we start in a state, 
we take an action, we arrive at the next state, and then we can update. It's called TD algorithm, TD0, the argument 0 becomes clear in one of the next videos. To summarize, the Bellman equation is a consistency equation for neighboring states. Neighboring states turn into neighboring time steps, and that gives then rise to a temporal difference. And in a large class of algorithms called temporal different methods, we explore the graph over time, then we compare values, Q values or V values, at neighboring time steps. And these V values in the next time step are seen as compact summary of experiences that have been made in the past. And in that sense, they are called bootstrap algorithms. And the update is always possible after the next time step. And it's based on temporal differences and therefore the name temporal difference algorithms. Let's finish with a little quiz. Please pause the video if you want to think about it. I will walk you through now step by step. So first claim, Sarsa is a TD method. Well, yes, that's correct. Sarsa updates based on a comparison of neighboring time steps. Expect that Sarsa is a TD method. Again, I would say yes, because it also compares neighboring states, and that means neighboring time steps. Q-learning is a TD method. Of course, Q-learning is a TD method. And now we also ask, is it on policy or off policy? TD learning, as we have seen it, is an on policy TD method. Is that correct? Q-learning is an on-policy TD method. Is that correct? Sarsa is an on-policy TD method. And Q-learning is off-policy, but the other two are indeed on-policy.